I think first priority in my brain. I think first priority is that. Are you coming I, out like an ass? And so it's not what people point out; it's what I realize I point out for myself, and that other people were right about it. My daughter, the the biggest issue there was having somebody to help us with our daughter、right. every weekend. You know, because we have to cook. From a Filipino's、um, point of view, if they all of a sudden came up with a story. Regarding Jose Rizal, what if what if that narrative gets changed? I love how this whole podcast setup is all just so casual. You know, family just、It's, walk in and out. I know it's that's <laughs> you'd figure they see this. There's dad again、yeah. working. Two guys, two worlds. This is the flip side. New episodes uploaded on YouTube, Facebook, and Spotify every week on Wednesday and Saturday. Now. Here's your host, Jason and Noel. That's what I said, you nincompoop. Good morning, good evening. Welcome back, guys.、Um, episode eleven. My name is Jason. This is Noel. Oh, did we just say that we weren't gonna do that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're working on the intros and the extras here, folks. That's the whole point of today's recording. Just, just try to get through the whole middle part without、yeah. screwing anything over. Don't you get more nervous every time we're doing new episodes? No, to be honest with you, it's just every time we start, I just feel like I don't know how to start. I, I, I find myself like mumbling. So it's、know? like a, it's like a first date every time we do this recording. I know it's, it's annoying, but we're getting there. <laughs> Awkward in the beginning. No, listen.、Right. Seriously though, don't you feel a bit?、Um, well, I do. Maybe it's my way of saying I'm getting a little bit more invested in what we're doing. Yeah. No. And,、uh, I said what I said because I was trying to cover up for myself. <laughs> I mean, I get nervous. You know. So you, so you do, you do. Oh, absolute! I'm like, <laughs> it, I'm excited. I get so excited, but as soon as we hit record and we count down, and then I feel like, what am I supposed to say now? You know? And then, and, honestly, I'm sorry to cut you off. Right now, I am feeling more nervous and insecure.、Uh, I, I think. I think it's because of this stupid light that you borrowed from your daughter. Yeah, my, so my daughter has this ring light that she uses for her gaming and whatnot. Right. And so now, I now you're, like an, you're like an online seller. Does she do gaming? What do you mean? Does she like? I mean, with a ring light and everything, does that mean she's streaming also? And people and there she yeah, is. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's what? That's she, my daughter. Everybody, my youngest. That's Jojo. Hi, Jo. Hey, hi. Hi, Jo. Okay. No, but is she the one that's streaming, like with a ring light and everything, like an online seller? Her? Yeah. No. No. I, you mean a different daughter? Yeah, my other daughter. Okay, go away. <laughs> Man. Need a little help here. Little help here, please. Little help. And I like how. So very so delicately and discreetly, you put your best dad bod、uh, trophy oh, yeah, right、absolutely. behind you. Right there, right there. It's just, there, so, it's just so so subtle, so subtle.、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to my first question: Where's、What's、the bowling、up? trophy? <laughs> oh, it's not with me. It's like three hundred kilometers away. Like it's four, five, six hours away from in Baguio. You could have told somebody to like ship it to you. What the hell? What for? No, I keep all my I keep all my trophies. It sounds like more than one, right? Like all right, my trophies、right. over in Baguio. I don't bring any of them here. But you know going what, back to what I was saying, what I'm worried this, about though is all my journals are also so sort of scattered all over the place. Now I don't know where they are. It's a bit. Did you keep all of them? I tried to, but some of them I thought, oh, I think I'd read this one, and then I'd read this one, and then it end up from here in Manila, and then in another place, and in another place. So I'm now、right. trying to sort of gather them all in just one mother stack. This lighting is making it seem like I have like a really good 
high definition camera. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm not liking it very much, to be honest with you. It's it's making my big fat lip stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Forget it. I don't want to talk <laughs> shot. That's going to be your problem, dude. <laughs> it's okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. I like it. I'm not even going to try to help. That's 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 on you. Appreciate it. Yeah. You, Appreciate you wanted it. to bring something up. Go ahead. Sorry. Now, the first thing I wanted to bring up was where's the trophy? We talked about it, and I thought you were going to go look for it in the garage or something. Uh, you mis you misheard me. It's in Baguio, and I don't plan to bring it here. Ever. I don't have don't have enough space in this house for to... all your trophies yeah it, because well, i mean don't you have room in the west wing or something no that's my dad's occupying the west wing <laughs> that's where he puts all his trophies best dad ever yeah baby give, given to you or bought for I yourself i didn't buy that it was a birthday gift I never got one of those. I haven't gotten any any one of those. Listen, there's something that wanted to tie up here. Something about oh yeah, that's that's kind of it's funny that we talked about being conscious about the way you look on camera and stuff like that. But kidding aside, though, that's also something that I wanted to bring up uh, as we're doing more of these recordings, as we're getting more sort of invested in what we're doing. Right. Doing these weekly or or two times a week kind of recordings and then uploading them you know for all the internet and the world to criticize for the rest of our lives we say that oh we're in our 40s now and we don't really get so self-conscious about it but is that true do you do do we not get uh, for me I, i mean i of course i speak for myself what i'm worried about and i finally kind of realized this was that it's it's true that I don't really care about what other people might say or think, or maybe it's hypocritical f- for me to say that. But that's 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 not, I think, first priority in my brain. I think first priority is subconsciously is that. Are you coming I, out like an ass? <laughs> that I am realizing that there are like flaws and mistakes, and so it's not what people point out. It's what I realize I point out for myself and that other people were right about it. Well, they'll notice it because you point it out. You know what I mean? It's usually the case. So it's so hence the reason why I don't want to be. Um, I, I love how this whole podcast setup is all just so casual. You know, family just walk in and out. I know. It's that's <laughs> you'd figure they see this with hearing me talk on the phone and they wouldn't bother you know well uh maybe you need to put a red light out there there's that again working (laughs) working doing doing something important right you know trying to close us off from the world No, but yeah, no, seriously. So we were on camera with a microphone for like, a, what, an hour, hour and a half recording. And, you know, like all the flaws and all the guts are going to come out. Doesn't that like right. worry you? Or like how, I mean, like for, exa- like, for example, I try to listen to myself. This is the reason why I don't try. I try not. I I should, but I try not to. Or I, I'm really uncomfortable, like listening to ourselves because it's like, uh, it's so cringy. And, and no. That's 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 not being cringy. That's you, your your elitist attitude towards it. You know, I mean, because you still you need to get over the fact that we might not be as good as we would like to be. I'd like to live in that fantasy, the Peter Pan syndrome. Not no, ready no, to. That, no, that's different. That's more like on like how young you look or how old you. Do. Although, no, uh, no, there's, for there's a couple a, of guys at the age that we're at, we don't look that half bad, man. No, no, bro. You got to admit. No, kidding aside, that's, that, that Peter Pan syndrome is not uh, about how you look necessarily or only. It's also about like, how you are mentally. I, I, again, it goes back to the Jordan Peterson thing that I was listening to a couple of uh, weeks ago. I mean, or right. it's, it's another thing that Jordan Peterson was saying. This, I, and 
I keep bringing him up because I, I keep thinking about him when I talk about these things, but I, I don't know. I could be wrong. I would probably be butchering his quote again. But basically, Peter Pan syndrome, the way I understand it, it's not just about the way you look, but it's also, you know, mentality. Like, you don't want to have responsibility and grow up. Correct. Correct. I mean, I, I agree with you. And I think it is that way, actually. I mean, I said what I said earlier regarding it, but it, it was just a joke, you know. In reality, it's about Peter Pan syndrome. It's like not wanting to grow up, you know, not wanting mm -hmm. to face reality, uh, wanting to be young at heart and whatnot. But I think it's mainly not, it's just ignoring reality, basically. I think so, you know. Everybody has their, their own interpretation of it. So that's mine. I think it's just wanting to avoid um, reality, so to speak. I'm having a hard, is, am I sounding equal all the way around? Yeah, let's pause. Okay. okay, so we're back. We just did a quick pause there, make some uh, technical checks and all that. And yep, everything okay. looks like or it sounds like it's okay, or we'll it should keep, be. Okay. Since we're, I'm editing this particular episode now, so it's <laughs> on me if anything screws up. Right. But there, we're so, back. In comparison to my editing from the first, what, nine episodes, everything should be better. <laughs> Right. Since you're doing it. <laughs> right. 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 I mean, no, if, pre no pressure. If, but if, if only if it makes it online. But it's it's like like what I, what I was saying when we were trying to fix things, our microphones and stuff. Isn't it kind of weird that we cut ourselves off in the middle of the recording? Like we're all of a sudden we're it's like you're it's like in the middle of making love to your wife and then somebody knocks at the door. <laughs> or or you're making love to your wife and then you take a bite of a sandwich. Or and then all of a sudden hold up a second. <laughs> I need to take a crap. <laughs> like, oh, come <laughs> on, man. That's just that's just bad. That's like, just so bad. Sorry, honey. I had too much coffee this morning. <laughs> hold, hold on. Hold and on. I, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> like, keep, oh, it's okay. I'm doing the, my nails anyway. Keep the bed warm for me. She's like and then it's when, okay. And, when, and then when you come back, she's already watching Netflix. <laughs> oh, God. What the best way to end the night. I yeah, it, it was a bit weird, that uh, that whole pause there. But I'm hoping you'll edit that out accordingly. Yeah, I'll just chop it off. Like, no feelings. Just gone. Throw it out the window. <laughs> Next recording, please. Next. Next. I feel like we haven't moved on from what we were last talking about. I didn't, like review it do you remember what it was oh and no i was trying to bring up how we're feeling more conscious or self-conscious yeah i mean definitely i feel yeah. honestly like i said earlier like for this episode even before we got on i was testing it out with the ring light the mic setting mic sounds a little bit better where i don't have to do this you know no no no, no but do this but i was i was just saying like i was testing it out but this whole light situation, mm -hmm. although it does make it look ten times better, like we're actually on a um, an Stu HD camera and whatnot, or, or in a studio, right? I, I feel um, like you're about yes. to like bring up a product, and you're like, "Well, if you get this now for nine ninety nine, <laughs> you get two. <clears throat> no, yeah, um, what sorry, I, what, go ahead. What I kind of meant was about recording our flaws and not getting away from it from an hour and a half i mean like somehow it's all just going to crumble house of cards and you know reveal you know your your true nature and aren't you kind of worried that it's re number one recorded and then number two for all the world to see well of course everybody's got everybody's got skeletons we yeah. all have things that we don't really want the whole world to know Excuse um, me but, while we get distracted by the baker oh, that just walked in. No, she did not bake that herself. Did Are she? these donuts? Yeah. And then you squ you squirted the... the okay, feet. don't say squirt. Come on. Nasty to describe <laughs> food. Just, that but just yeah. sounds gross. So this is uh, Ube Halaya uh, donuts for sale now at just a dollar each. Um, That's that, expensive. <laughs> 
I don't know the price, how the prices go for now. I don't but this know. is I don't homemade know. and still freshly, fresh, freshly baked. And then there's um, her own. Uh, what do you call that? Um, icing. Right. Inside, which she gently, ever so gently, squeezed inside. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> What's this one? This is the same. Speaking, so no, speaking of uh, like the whole cooking business thing. Yeah. So remember, I shared with you the other day how Thank we you. somewhat ventured into a cooking business. Right? I don't want to jinx it, but okay, if you want to bring it up, I'm happy to talk. No, about no, no, it. no, no, no. I'm not talking about what we're talking about. I'm talking about what I did over here. The whole kain dear, kain yeah. You didn't even look at the link that I sent you, didn't you? Did you really? You came up with the uh, kainderia, karinderia. It's called kainderia. Like this is, yeah. Hold on. That must be in a different pause, podcast, pause. man, or a different person that you were speak. Is that a? F isn't that what people used to? Isn't that like thing of for for pranking people, making it sound like you're farting? No, you gotta let it cool down. What'd you say? Is Sorry. That, is somebody you're, sick? You're going to have to cut that off, okay? For sure? Cut that whole... Yes. Cut that whole thing out. <laughs> Why? Why? No, because my daughter... We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I didn't hear anything. I mean, unless she was undressed, I'm not going to cut anything out. No. <laughs> no. She was at... It's a um, a hot compress. Yeah, and, and the first thing that or comes to mind compress. was that's what we would use back in high school to you sit on it and then it sounds like somebody farted. No, that's that's an actual fart woofy cushion is what it's called, I think. Right. Whoopee but cushion. that one that yeah. you're that, No. That, that, My wife? Yeah, wasn't that was, that wasn't that like a whoopee cushion? I mean, I know it's for hot hot or cold compress. Right. You, you can use it as a whoopee cushion also. It would no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It does. It does. It doesn't make that sound. It doesn't. Um, have you tried? Yeah. Can you confirm that? Yes, I, I can definitely confirm that. I actually tried sitting on it, and um, I was not successful whatsoever. All right, let's get serious anyway, now. What are I was, we? I was saying. So I sent you a link. We were chatting on Facebook. It's about that little business that my wife and I did over here. It's a cooking business. You must have been chatting with somebody else. No. Nope. Oh, look. look at all the history. I sent it to you. We were How even talking about food. How do you spell it? K-A-I-N-D-E-R. Nothing. I'm, ser I'm searching the chat history. I used the space bar to search oh, for no, the no, 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 no. topic that I we did, talked about. I did not um, uh, actually spell it out. Okay, what's the link? I said the link is in the chat. Is it still live? Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, is your is, is your Karinderia still live? I mean, is it still no, up we, and running? No, we're on hiatus right can now. You, can you send it to me again so I can have a quick look at it? Can our listeners yeah. look at it, or is this a private link now? Like people can't look because you're on hiatus. No, they can lick. Uh, lick. <laughs> wow. Um, do they, they squirt? Can, uh... Do they squirt the food on the plates too while they're? Um, they can look. They can look. They can look. Send me the Here, link. I just I just sent you the link. Right I'll there. put I'll put this on the show description so people can eavesdrop and see what's going. There you go. Yeah. Uh, that was like, um, we did this for about two months, maybe three. We took a break. Eventually, we're going to get back into it. Um, Kainderia is a family-owned food catering service serving home-cooked Filipino food. Everything you see in there, all the pictures, are actually cooked by my wife and I. Did you break the all bread? Of all of it. All of it. We're feeling competitive now. Did you did you bake the bread? Uh, the Yourselves? bread? Yes. The empanadas? Uh, yes. Uh, bah, 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 bah. The palabok? Yes. Empanadas and palabok? Yeah. Bah, 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 the bah, bah, the bah, flan. Bah. The uh, kare kare. The, 
beef steak, the caldereta, the chop soy, everything. We actually did pretty good and we had all the materials and everything. And it got down to a point where there's even a business card. Nice. And then we stapled it at every because people would order through Facebook. Every week, we would generate a menu. And the menu is actually posted in the uh, Facebook page, you know? We mm-hmm. would announce it. And then people would send messages and um, place their orders. So they'd pick it up. And then these business cards would be stapled or taped to whatever it is they're buying. You know? So these are, um, uh, this is available only in Virginia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope you don't mind me mentioning where you are at. No, no. I mean, I don't think our three listeners are going to be hunting us down. Surprise! Hopefully not. <laughs> so you know, you know how um, I'm going to segue a little bit here. But anyway, hold on. Let, let, let me finish what I was trying to say. So th- this cooking business thing actually took off for a little bit. You know, where we had a loyal following. People were actually ordering on a weekly basis on, based on our menu. And I think they were telling the truth because they, they kept ordering. So, yeah, it was good enough. We were actually profitable a little bit, you know? That's really the way things are going now, right? I mean, your own thing, like your own your own business. It's like the whole internet, economy, digital Everything's just, everything is like work, work going towards that individual personalized, you know, personal right. brand business. That right. That's how do you feel about that, or how do you how are you adjusting to it? It's it's great, you know. And the, the only reason we really stopped or took a break from it is because we have a young toddler mm. that. We don't really have any a lot of people helping out with, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, my mother in law was helping out for a couple of weeks, watching her. Oh yeah, so that so, so, now so that my wife and I could cook. Uh, right, cook. You, you were fully invested in it. You, you like both hands, all hands on deck. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, are you saying in that circumstance, it helps that you had a nine to five or a regular job that you can just leave or? I mean, no, why, no, why no, did no, you no. choose to, 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 to drop it? It was like, we, we, well, we did it as an additional income, you know? Oh, as a um, side hustle, yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, it was like you'd start cooking on a Friday afternoon all the way to Saturday morning Yeah. so that all the orders are picked up on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I get you, but, but how come you didn't leave your regular job and then go for that instead? I mean, if you don't, if you if you can't, if it's only a side hustle, why don't, why why make it the main hustle and then leave the regular job? Well, I don't understand. You mean why we didn't leave the regular job? Yeah, and then concentrate on. You said it was picking up. Yeah. Well, it wasn't picking up as that not, big yet. Not, not yet. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not enough. Not and then enough also, to get your jeep. A gladiator, yeah. right? Or another one. And, also, and my daughter, the, the biggest issue there was having somebody to help us with our daughter right. every weekend, you know, because we have to cook. And we can't cook just me and her with a little one running around like crazy, knocking over shit and burning stuff or whatever. It might burn their hand, whatever. And, um, so now for that the was, people that was the biggest thing why we we stopped basically for eventually pe- hopefully we'll get back into it sorry i distracted myself for the people watching there now you know who's in the philippines and who's uh, what's the temperature there where you're at right now um sweating winter time about between 30 and 50 oh, god what's that in Cel- celsius it's, it's cold i don't know i don't think in, uh, i don't think in fahrenheit anymore I don't, I don't know, know how to I don't trans- know. translate that. I don't that. know what the calc- let's let me take a look. You're not. Um, it's not snowing where you're at, though, right? It's cold, but it's not snowing. No, it it does snow here, but it hasn't snowed this year yet. Oh. Yeah. And so you got 
central heating on in your house. That's what. That's what kind of what I miss, man. Why? Heaters. Oh. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> if you if you want a heater here in the Philippines, you just turn off the electric fan, and it's right. <laughs> Hold on, you you guys do Celsius <clears throat> over there, right? Yeah, yeah, and I don't remember how to like convert it by I guess divide by three, something like that. Uh, yeah, that's dividing meters. To so feet. one one degree one Fahrenheit is. No, hold on, hold on. let me twenty five degrees is equivalent to negative. Three degrees Celsius. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. So if you're at six, so like tonight is thirty-six degrees. So it's two degrees Celsius. Where you're at? Oh, it's cold. Okay, I get so, you. Yeah, it's it's. Well, I take it back. It's actually forty-seven right now. It's eight Four. degrees Celsius that you guys. Okay, that's so, about the coldest that Baguio has ever been. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. But so just, just it does give... snow here, but the last couple of years it hasn't been that bad at all. No. Okay. Which is a good thing because it sucks. Okay, just to give you an idea on um, here in the Philippines, though, on average, on average, I think it's like eighty-seven Fahrenheit, thirty-one degrees Celsius on average throughout the whole year, on average. You know, fluctuates to like 27, 28. Uh, 85, you said? 87, yeah. It's awesome. For, for you guys, just, just to give you an idea. But lately, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, and I haven't been looking at the weather forecast, but it feels like this is just personal perception. It's about like 70, 75. Strangely oh, okay. enough. That's, that's, the, that's the Amihan that I was talking about <laughs> the past couple of episodes on how, how cold it's been. Right. So that's that's like a ten degree difference, and you know, it's it's such a, it feels like we're in a different country already. But anyway, just to the thing, what I'm saying about weather is that I just that's just what I miss. Um, I like the warm, humid weather here in the Philippines, but come on, twelve months a year. <laughs> I know. And like I know. The whole it gets year, old. Like, it gets me, old. Yeah, yeah, it's like you. You have perfect beaches and perfect weather all the time, but after a while, you're like, "Give me some, give me some." You snow. realize you sound like an asshole for complaining <laughs> about having perfect weather all year round. And then, what a dick! Sometimes it rains, but come on, we got to shovel like twelve inches of snow and deal with sleet, car accidents all the time because of it, and you know you're bitching about. 80 degrees outside. It's okay. <laughs> exactly. I know I sound like an ass for saying that, but, you know, a little bit of variety would help every now and then. Oh, that's, let it rain a little, you know? That's why just a little bit like Hong Kong and, uh, maybe, no, not even Singapore. I can only think of Hong Kong where it gets, like, really It snows in Hong Kong. Snow, yeah, I think, and Taiwan also and Japan. I mean, those would be, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. those countries would be nice. If I could live in any other country, it would probably be in, in another Southeast Asian country. Like what? Yeah, the ones Vietnam? that I just the ones that I just mentioned. No, the yeah. the ones that snow a little oh. bit. Just just because of the variety. I'm just up for the variety. In, it actually in, gets really cold in Japan. Like really cold. Well, I like, think that would be in the Yeah, it's higher snows. altitude places. It snows. It snows in Japan, so Right, right, right. right. Anyhow, anyway, you want to go back to whatever what? it is that we were trying to talk about? I was just, I was just trying to wrap my head around this whole self-conscious recording yourself thing, finding your flaws, and for the rest yeah. of the world to see. I mean, it's scary, but at the same time, you know what? Like you said, we're at the age where you just need to get going, right? It is what just it is. It. it is what it is, right? But maybe. The purpose of that self-consciousness, again, and I was joking about it, is it because of uh, we're not going to get hired or not, we're, we're going to lose friends? No. Or we're, we're not I mean, going to have any more friends because of the flaws that they realize and see on the videos <laughs> that we put out? Right, right, right. I don't 
I don't think so. I mean, do you really think that this is going to be like a big factor that people won't hire us? All they got to do, it doesn't even have to have thousands. We don't even have a hundred subscribers. We could just exactly have somebody so just what's needs, the, what's the issue? Somebody just needs to Google my name if I'm applying for work, and then that person's like, "Wait a minute, is this person on the that, that's what the what the?" Let's listen to him talk for about you know five seconds, and then they realize this person is not the same one that I just interviewed a while ago. This is ah, this guy's an idiot. He's an actor. He's a, he's a fraud. He's a facade. He's a fraud. Can you imagine though? I mean, I wonder if it's actually happened. I'm sure it does, right? I mean, yeah. I, what is that? There's a house burning. No. Um, or is that fire. a really, really horny cat? Fire truck. Fire. De fire ambulance. I know. I thought your house was burning down. No, 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 no. A while ago, I was conscious about the the kids outside because we're like right beside a park. A kids' yeah. park, a children's park, which, by the way, has only lasted for like six months, maybe a year. And we were kind of joking about it where they came up with like a I love Las Piñas sign, right? It's all like metal. and Right. And then Christine and I here were joking that, you know, that's just going to last a few. And then we were right. After a few months, like the bars of the, the, the metal bars are gone. Cause people people have, actually mess with that? People actually steal like light bulbs from street lights and like what? metal, you know, and they go, they go out and sell it. They'll they'll take it to a junk oh, shop. They'll take yeah, it to a yeah, junk yeah. shop and make money off of it. I, I've actually heard like copper apparently is like a big issue in Manila where people steal it and sell it and all that stuff. I think right. they sell that by weight, right? Yeah, copper wire, the copper wires that yeah, are yeah. Me meant for like uh, electricity wires up on the f you know the the electricity poles. That's why right. the new the new thing also now is just like I think in Australia, it's all under it should be all underground. Yeah, here it's mainly underground now. That's the new. That's why. So the yeah, yeah, it, so the people can't steal the copper wires, and it's supposedly a little safer. Is it safer if it's underground? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely less like blackouts or brownouts or whatever, whatever it is you call over there. Mm. But it's safer, especially if you have bad weather, like in Manila, where there's like, uh, what's that, typhoons and whatnot. Mm. It'd be ideal to have it underground. The way I understand it, blackouts are at night. So power outages at night and then brownouts, I think, are during the day. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Now you know. Yeah. You learn something every day for listening. <laughs> we, don't, we don't really get brownouts or blackouts here. So. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but you know what, though? You know how fucking expensive our Hold electric on. bill is? Let me just rewind that real quick. You, you, you realize how you just said, ah, we don't really get any blackouts here. And, <laughs> and you're just, I, don't, I don't know what to say. What do you want me to do? Is it my fault? That we have <sighs> good electric infrastructure. Sorry, I can't really relate to. Yeah. You realize we're too, you know, and, and this is like nagging in my head. This is what I oh, realized. Oh, I forgot. You guys still have to like burn coal over there. <laughs> I realized this is what Weng was saying about us speaking in Tagalog. And then we kind of just glazed <laughs> over it. When she said, when she said uh, like, and, and this is not you. Because you were speaking in English, and then marunong naman kayo magtagalog. And since you're not speaking in Tagalog, it's not you. Like we're not being ourselves because we're speaking in English, and our first language is Tagalog. And here we are, being facades or being fake, speaking in English. You know, a language that we weren't really born into. It's our second language. Are we really going back into this? I mean, seriously. No. Well, if you want to, but I, I just I just realized because I was listening to the recording recently. You know, I'm one of those two people that listen to our show, right? So me, one, you, two, and then the third one it. could be is is Whoever. probably is probably Wang. Anyway, <laughs> so what she was saying was like you, we have to be real with ourselves, and then you you were like, what? I don't understand what she was saying, and then I also didn't understand what she was saying because remember you were reading your her text to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we kind of both just said, I don't know what, what she's talking about. 
Well, no, I then, do. I do know what she's talking about. But we are, or I, I can't fully speak speak for yourself. My Filipino Tourette's is coming out. Um, no, uh, I can't fully speak for you, but I know that I'm more comfortable speaking this way. You know, because it's my, even though Tagalog is my native tongue, because I was born in the Philippines. Mm. My native tongue is English because it's easier for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I've been here practically all my li- not all my life, but the like, past three decades in comparison but, to what. So, th- so there. So, sorry if if I keep circling back to 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 this issue about self consciousness. Like, so there's you have your idea or how you're comfortable about the way you are or whatever you're the way you're speaking even. And then people have an impression of how they think you are naturally. And because it's a little bit of both, right? Like there's a little bit of truth in what other people think of you and then what you think of yourself. They might actually think that when it comes to you, because you're the one who's in the Philippines. Does that make sense? Because I'm surrounded with people speaking in Tagalog. Right. I'm not. So, right. I mean, it's not by it's 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 just natural for us here to speak in in english this way you know and in your particular case being there they might actually think that maybe hey he's a fraud that's kind of what i learned from commander daot and kulas you know they speak english to the camera because right that's That's how they make native language that that's how they speak I guess naturally or to themselves, right? Uh, yeah, but <clears throat> and then if someone's speaking to me in Tagalog on camera, I just adjust accordingly, as as you're supposed to. Right. So that's just you know. what I get kind of gathered. Well, again, I think you're too hard on yourself. I think you know. I know, right? Thanks, but you, you put you. You're you're here. Listen, listen, yeah. look. You're here, but you're putting yourself in a level where you want to be here, or you might think you're here. Does that make sense? No right. offense. I'm not. I'm no, not no. saying that you're like, you know. Not even. You're reminding me of. I say that exactly same thing. Uh, you remember that movie Eight Mile? Um, Eminem. Yeah. He's a rabbit, and then he's sitting beside his best friend they were in the car and then he said something like you know when you kind of realize when you you got to stop living up here and then just start living down here yeah i kind of like in in just so many words and he didn't even describe it all in details i understand what he said and that's probably where i'm at also you know i got this sort of this fantasy and here i am trying to explain it there's this fantasy idea of that i have in mind and you know there's reality or there's like keeping yourself on the ground Right. Well, so, I don't know. Maybe you need you need to cut yourself a slack or something. Like You're I putting said, yourself in in such a high pedestal, if that makes sense. That's I don't even know if that's really the case. That's why I'm doing this podcast so that we can aff- so that I can eventually afford a therapist <laughs> and figure all that out. First, we need people to subscribe. So please, wink, wink subscribe anything else that you wanted to talk about sir (laughs) well you know how last episode we were talking about getting back in shape and all that crap oh right yeah i was gonna segue into that (laughs) i think you already forgot about that and i already know you have (laughs) yeah listen um we're gonna run out of time so we could just uh (laughs) Talk about so he can run next. around the block real quick. <laughs> now, I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. That's why I couldn't wake up this morning. I, I'm 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 hurting right now. So for the past three days, every morning, I'll get up. I'll do my sit-ups. Hold on. My hold on, hold on. What happened? Uh, I, I I clicked on upgrade by accident. Hold on, but before you get into that, before you get into the details of it, I don't know if I should tell you. Okay. What I did 
in the middle of everything. So just for the people that are sort of getting caught up with what we're talking about now, somewhere along the last episode, we kind of made a mistake of bringing up like our, would you say like New Year's resolutions or something that we had we had in mind? What, how did this supposedly even come? some, this some even... kind of resolution? And then I guess we. Oh no! I think something about I don't know what I was complaining about again, but I brought something up about maybe I'll use this podcast or you, Jason, as, as motivation. My, well, I wouldn't put my you. I wouldn't put you up there <laughs> like that. You're just like lower it down a little bit. Not motivation, okay. but uh, accountability partner. You know, there not, you go. Not exactly my trainer, but uh, an accountability partner. Um. So my criteria for winning. Uh, with this, not bet, but this report, like sort of like a weekly report on, you know, the, the thing that I plan to do for, to make my life better. Um, right. Was to walk the dog for 10 minutes every day. And then I really- Is that enough? Is that enough though? Exactly. Is that really enough? So after the whole episode, I was like, did I just say I'm going to walk the dog for 10? And then that's the challenge. It's like, how, what, what a, sm so- I decided, like, in the middle of it, like, after the episode, I decided to up it a little bit because I remember right. hearing you that you're going to be working out for, like, two hours every day. Is that right? About an hour and a half. Hour, hour and a half. So, I, of course, I felt like a I felt like a whiner, you know, complaining about how I couldn't walk the dog for 10 minutes every day. And so, here I am trying to explain to you how what I did to try to at least match that hour and a half that you're dedicating to this commitment that you're doing. Right. So how's your week been? So should I tell you what I decided to add to my 10 the, minutes? Yes. Yes. What did you do? Sorry. Uh, I don't know if you I mentioned walked this. further down the block. <laughs> I did. And then at the end of the block, which is about 500 meters away, uh, or maybe half half a kilometer, half. Let, let's you just say some, ha half a mile. Isau? There is Isau and 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 um, fish balls on the oh. way. So there's that little obstacle on the way. So going there's right. fish balls. So there's a fish ball vendor, and then coming back, you're gonna meet the fish ball vendor again. Nice. At the end of the 500 meters, maybe more or less half a kilometer away. So that's like a right. 15, 20 minute walk. I said to myself, I'm going to do a, like a three, four, five minute workout. It's like a 30 day, 30 day home workout challenge that I had. Right. right, right, right. So after, yeah, you were talking about that. You were talking about that. So there's a long walk, a 15, 20 minute, 10 minute walk. I do a little workout and then I come back home. And then that's kind of about it when it comes to workouts. Because I'm not trying to be buff like you or like, you know, best dad bod. No, shut up with a trophy in the background. I'm not trying to compete with that. <laughs> but on top of all that, I got to right. make a video out of it. What? I got to make a video what? out of it. Why? Because that's what I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to work out my video making skills. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Because you're, ta you're talking about like improving yourself uh, oh no! Because we were talking about how we felt so lethargic. Yes, yes, right? that's then, that's. So we started thinking about ways to you know get back into shape to 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 to, to you know um, shake off all the 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 lethargic the, feeling, the fat of not just fat. Yeah, you were talking about fat, and I just felt like a vegetable. So I. Yeah, so we started. We both started talking about working out his his own workout schedule or whatever. And then for me, part of that is like you know working out my editing fingers, which includes making a video or a vlogging about it. So every day, work out and vlog about it. So it's like a daily vlog. Yeah. So basically, just sitting there doing what you're doing regularly. It's more difficult than you think, bro. <laughs> It, I don't not, know how that is. It's not like I just put the camera in front of me and then record and then stop recording and say, okay, that's my vlog for today. 
No, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta edit it. I actually have to upload it to the computer, dedicate all the time and energy, like brush everybody out that wants to go out with me or hang out and say, right, no, I gotta right. do this video. It's all about like time and commitment. It's that that you, commitment you gotta, muscle. You have to give up your extensive social calendar, or my time on YouTube, research, yes, researching absolutely. about relationships. So that's <laughs> to, to my, try to to try to save yours. Is that what it is? So that's what explains why you got that notification on Facebook that Noel shared something with you because I uploaded it and I decided to not share it with anyone. So now it's called the Noel's Super Secret Vlog. <laughs> because I that's uploaded it and I'm the only one that's actually watching it because I decided not to share it with anyone. So you're going to try to motivate yourself that way. Yes. It's, I don't know about motivating myself, but it's the challenge that I put up for myself to match up with the hour and a half that you are, you know, lifting dumbbells and weights. <laughs> I'm not really like, I'm not trying to get big. I just, I'm already big. Yeah. Um, <laughs> My um, workout, I'm, by the way, in, ca in case anybody's curious, it's just a body body weight workout and a little yeah, bit of cardio yeah. but nothing serious like whatever you're doing no i'm i'm just i'm trying to get back in shape yes i am trying to mass up a little bit so since our last discussion and whatnot um actually i'm gonna talk about that in a bit Let, let's cut this off because we only have three minutes left you have three minutes to answer this question then Okay. Did you do all What's three? It's been three days. We started Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, I did three days in a row. And so I get up. Let me let me go ahead and get back to it. So I get up at like five five thirty every morning, basically, between five five thirty and five forty five. So I spend about thirty minutes in my bathroom doing some stretches, sit ups. Um, uh, push-ups um, and whatnot uh, just trying to get myself and you don't have any trouble motivating yourself to do this mm, I do but the good thing with the bathroom is there's a big enough space where I can actually do it and there's, so there's... a big big enough mirror where I can see my gut no excuse no and enough no. gut motivation you're saying yes because for me, that's that's the whole thing for me. Because I've done, I did this already yesterday. I made videos already. Blah blah blah. So it becomes like a motivational exercise for me. That's what it comes down to. It's not really like a physical thing, but it's really more of a emotional. A, I, don't, I don't understand. What videos doing what? Are you questioning my? Yes, absolutely. Choice of goal for myself. <laughs> well. How is that going to help you from being lethargic, from feeling fat, from feeling out of shape? That's how I exactly. feel. I exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's my, that's my point. Exactly. You know? So, but going ah. back to what I was saying. Okay. Ahead, I have an answer for your question already. The, the motivation is that it's, it's the, the video is, is video evidence that I did it. Oh, for crying out loud. What? Come on, dude. So, so see, the, the way you're answering now. You can do something for a all, little bit and then all, loop it. All the more reason. Of course not. I'm going to be wearing something different and I'm going to take a shot of my phone or a shot <laughs> of my watch. The way you're answering now, the more reason I'm not going to let you watch it. Oh, the come more on. I'm going well, to block. Show it to you. Okay, I, I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> I am so supportive over you the more you're doing a good job reason i'm going to block your account from seeing <laughs> my super secret private what? daily vlog videos anyway i was saying i've been getting up early in the morning right so my bathroom has a big enough area where i can actually do some workout some light workout you know like stretches and all that stuff Is some it... push-ups some pull-ups is it some? Uh, is this at the West Wing or the East Wing? East, East Wing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So besides that, the past two days, um, 
my daughter, my middle daughter, Malaya, and I have been practicing softball because softball season is coming up. So mm -hmm. that being said, we've been going kind of uh, um, hard with throwing the ball, running, catching, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So needless to say, I am I'm in pain, man. My shoulders are killing me. My thighs are burning. Um, it's. I think I spoke too soon in regards to this whole working out thing. It's too much. You can I'm listen. <laughs> so, so what's the challenge for you? Is it the because for, for me it's the consistency. It's not the volume. Oh, it's the consistency. Yeah, definitely. All right, so you can easily like, change it, the. It's been three days. That's it, right? But who knows? I'm hoping that I'm actually taking a break on Friday and Saturday and then back at it again on Sunday. That's the goal, right? Hopefully I can stick to it. Yeah. So what's and your challenge? What, what's, what's your challenge point? I mean, aside from, okay, you're trying to feel less lethargic. The continuation. Like, like I know this week I'm going to complete this week like based on my plans and schedules and whatnot right mm. next week you never know seems to be uh yeah never know yeah or is it accept is it a success well i mean what's your measurement of success is what i mean like when do you say that are, are, did we place a bet wasn't there something like uh yeah your loser is going to do all the editing and the uploading yeah in yeah, March. yeah 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 but what did we did we define the the level of success success how do we define who wins and who loses well i think that's where we talked about the whole weighing each other right no i was suggesting the weighing each other was uh i was just giving that as an example that that's what uh radio show host did once in one of these like workshops or lectures that I was listening to. Right. Uh, you know, that he would so consistently how is that gonna be? weigh himself. How, how, how is that going to be measured though? You know? Right. No, for us, I was thinking that our measurement of success or the contest is really more like, and this is under the impression that we're working out every day, seven days a week. <laughs> that's that's, no, that's for me, too much. For me, that's what it was. Like that's how my sort of workout consistency thing challenge is all about. Like it's a thirty-day challenge. It's not a do it as you please. Whenever you feel like you're not lethargic anymore, you're done. That's why I'm asking you, what's our level of success? I mean, what's our measurement of su su success? And then, so I the don't app, know. So the app that I'm working on or working with is like if you miss a day, so. So as you're, as you're doing it, so 30 days out of 30 days is 100%. And then so the, the number of days that I miss, uh, that, that I don't do the workout, it's going to tell me if where, where I'm at in terms of percent in those 30 days. Yeah. Um, I apologize. You're, you're going to have to cut this off. My, my recording stopped hmm. out of nowhere. It just stopped. Yeah, what's your criteria for success? I mean, like, I mean, at the end of the day, it's really, the, I'm just, uh, I'm just loss. really going against myself here. Yeah. <laughs> but just to make it as a, a a competition, the question is, how do we? So you're trying to uh, lose some weight. I'm trying. I'm trying to, to lose weight. I'm trying yeah. to just be consistent. So I'm. So I'm my criteria for success is the number of days that I do it in terms of percent on how consistent I can do my so are you maybe you can uh, I don't know if this makes sense but you can have your 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 weight set and then where you're at and then you have like a little percent in between does that because I'm thinking percent versus percent is that how we measure success no, that's not gonna that's not gonna work out I mean I think I need to, my goal is in 10 days, I need to lose like 20, 15 pounds at least. You know what I mean? I mean, in, in, uh, until the end of the month, the month. 
15 pounds is what I need to lose. That's How are you going to lose 15 pounds? Girls can't even lose 15 pounds in 10. Well, yeah, well, half. 10 to 15. Realistically, 10, 10 yeah, is doable. Have you done that before? Yeah, absolutely. 10, 10 is doable. 15 is pushing the limits for me, but that's, that's the hard number to reach. So that's the goal. But I don't know. I, I have to, you don't understand. Look at this right here. Look at that. See that? It used to be, it used to be like, I, know, I, 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 this, this was non existent right here. That's fat. How do we measure ourselves up against each other? Who wins? Who loses? Who looks better? No. Nah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Well, well, what are you, what are you trying to? You know my goal plan. Now, what is your goal plan? Just be as consistent, at least seventy percent, eighty percent consistent for the month. Walk the dog. What? Walk the dog. Workout. Make that's videos. That's every day. That's that's. I mean, okay. okay. And then what after you do that? How are you going to measure? There has to be a goal for you to set the outcome. The, the outcome, the objective yeah. is to feel more, to be more productive and feel less lethargic. Okay. So maybe are you able to do 30 push-ups right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be sore That's the next day, but I can do it. Okay, maybe being able to do thirty easily. Oh, you're talking about the measure- end of the month. No measurement. Like I can. That's not a worthy. That's not a. I'm telling you, that's not a goal for me in a sense that it's not a. It's not like a running goal where I'm trying to beat my five kilometer personal record. That's that's not it. I could I could beat it like on the day. I can. You know, I have enough mental strength to beat it on the day but it's the mental strength every day to be consistent every day that's my that's my yeah that's my achilles I don't, I don't, that's then, that's my achilles then i'm heel. not going to know wow yeah so so I in other know. words it, it, to put it in one word my goal is consistency your goal is weight loss how do we put those two goals up against each other and we deci- can't. and decide who wins we can't that's what I'm that's why I was saying percent would be the way to go because am I 60 70 80% consistent with my goal and then were you 60 70 80% achieving your weight goal like, Yeah I like guess. if if you put I mean, Okay like this if you're let's just put it at 10 pounds are we on pounds or kilos pounds Okay I'm, so I'm on pounds so. So, so you're trying to beat so you're trying to lose 10 pounds so if you lose only if you lose two pounds then that would be 20 percent of your goal if you lose eight pounds that's 80 percent of your goal yeah but how do you measure yours through the number of days that i'm able to be consistent about doing the activities that i said i would be doing yeah but that's not going to work out either because it's the the amount of work for each one it's easier to attain so now you're comparing from your... <laughs> you're comparing your goal against my <laughs> because it's not even it, it it can't be measured if they're not even if the amount of work is not equal it cannot be measured equally does that, that make sense that's why i added uh making a video and working out to my 10 minutes of walking the dog because they would all no, be at because least that's an, just a daily occurrence which is it the same can't thing be something within a daily occurrence it has to be something that would help you physically to attain a certain goal that would prevent you from feeling lethargic yeah. and useless right, right. Does that you're, make say- sense? you're saying we're comparing apples and oranges i'm saying 
you you're thinking it's different be, you're thinking it's different because you're we're comparing weight loss versus consistency or making videos every day yeah it's big difference don't, don't think about it as um let's not think about it as weight loss let's just both think about it as consistency like were you did you work out every day like you said or that you planned to there's like no okay. makeup there's no makeup days there's like oh i wasn't able to work out on monday so i'll make it up on wednesday i'll do legs <laughs> and i'll do legs and back instead no it's like monday chest workout tuesday arms for example it's like as as scheduled as planned but so again a, it goes it goes down to how do you measure that did you do it every day how many okay. times all right how many times for th that's why i'm saying adjust your volume because it's about consistency so right carry less weight don't lift the 15 pound dumbbell just make it 10 because you're going to do it again tomorrow or in two days from now if you're switching i don't know what you're what's yeah your, see what are you doing one mu are you doing one muscle group every day how how's your uh no arms and legs arms and legs or back or whatever but because it has to be balanced out you know like one day i'm gonna work out just my arms one day i'm gonna arms meaning you know arms yeah. shoulders your chest whatever i get it. or there's going to be days where it's just your back or your legs yeah so it sounds like you're doing one uh, muscle group per day correct but the entire body for the whole week exactly that's what i meant so right. you, you can't switch what i'm saying is don't switch that around like if you're supposed to do whatever it is that you're supposed to do monday did you do it and then on tuesday did you do it and on wednesday did you do the different group yeah 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 that's about right and you're saying the whole workout will last about an hour and a half for each one yeah right so it's kind of the same thing for me okay right. kind kind of well the editing is the killer but just more or less like the whole activity is about like it kind of rounds about to about for, I just, sent you a link. I sent you a link right now. That's that's the machine that I have that machine in my base. So that's what I use to oh. like. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, work yeah, out yeah. And stuff. I mean, I have that exact same one in my base. Mercy, Marcy Dual functioning full body, 150 pound stack home gym workout machine. Available yeah. at Walmart. At Walmart. Well, I mean, I actually I got it for free. Nice. So, um, I didn't buy. I, I got it for free, brand new. How so? Because they you? they screwed up. I ordered it, right, and then they screwed up on the delivery. Oh wow! Basically, I, it was I was supposed to get it in one week. I didn't get it until like a month later. So I complained and whatnot, and then they said, it's okay. We'll give you a full refund. I'm nice. not going to complain. That's never going to happen here in the Philippines, but. <laughs> I don't think so. <clears throat> yeah. If that happens here, like we, let's say they lose the address or they don't deliver within the week or the month that they said that they would. Sorry, right. sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. Pasencia na, sir. Are they not? Do they not do anything to like rectify it, or to at least to satisfy the customer, or no? Nothing. Usually, there was a time that I was at a fast food restaurant. There was something nasty on my plate, and I was like, "What's this? Don't I at least like get a free meal for, you know, this thing that you have on the plate? You know how they plate it, and then like nobody checks when it comes out of the kitchen, right? So they they didn't realize that there was some sort of. Uh, nasty thing that the, that was on my plate and maybe it was just like a piece of oil that fell from the from the stove that the fan like, from like the fan up top yeah, yeah, something like that and it Ugh. was just, it was disgusting yeah and then i kind of said like can you at least like change it or what and they were just not sorry sir sorry sorry but said oh, it was man. just like that and this was like i think just a little bit before social media started picking up so i have Hold no pic this picture. was a, a restaurant a fast food joint, yeah. And, and they 
they decided not to give you a new order or anything. I can't. Hindi nila pinalitan. Me. I can't recall if they they changed my plate even at all. I was speaking to the manager and what? the manager was That's just, just not right. And then there was this other time that I drank on another restaurant um, iced tea and then it tasted like detergent. And then the, wait, the waiters were looking at me like, what, is, what do you want us to do about it? And then so I said, in, in really mocking and really speaking, uh, like in slow terms, like, can we change the iced tea? Because Did it tastes it? like detergent. It's like they had to look at each other first and then decide to ask the manager if they can change it. Come on. So it, you know, took an, I had to wait for another five minutes. I was really thirsty. I almost died. I almost <laughs> died. But, That's horrible. But what I'm just saying is that, you know, it's not part of the customer service culture here to, to just change it so that the customer is satisfied with the service. Yeah. First thing that they think of is it's going to come out of their pay. Is that how it is, though? Over there, if, if they if they do something wrong, yeah, I've, it's automatically I've, thought that it's the waiter's fault. I've I've never worked in the service industry or any food industry, but as from my waiter friends, that's what I hear. Like if they make a wrong order, uh, that comp comes off of their pay. But that's not right. I mean, it, that's not their fault. They're just literally delivering it from one place to the other. Well, in the case of making the wrong order, they 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 wrote down the wrong order, or they delivered it to the wrong person. Oh, I see. I see. But I see, I see. what we were just discussing was uh, detergent in my drink and oil suit on my rice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It it wasn't like a, oh 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 sorry sorry we'll change it. No, that's not like the attitude. It's like half of it is like, did you put this here yourself? Are you just trying to get views on social media? Are you trying to? Yeah. It's like people that are a bit suspicious, I think, uh, about you know flaws in their service versus like jumping on it and then just switching it to 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 address the problem right away. They're a bit suspicious about customers complaining. Right. In other words, customer isn't always right, and I wasn't trying to like get one over them. I just wanted to get a decent meal and a decent drink. But of course, to them, it was like, are you taking pictures of this? Are you going to put this on social media? Or Do people actually do that, though? Does it? Yeah, that's how people complain here. I think people, do, people hardly even go to, well, I, should, I probably shouldn't say this, but it's like when people get desperate, people go to the media to get things right. And then because most of these, let's say, lawyers or, you know, there's there's some media personalities that were that are lawyers and then they get shit done more than the government or more oh, than the authorities. Oh shit. So there's this speaking to that. I apologize. There's this Filipino, I guess lawyer thing on YouTube that I that I saw one time. Um Oh man. So basically there's this mom who is being sued by her family. Okay. Her mom is in working in uh overseas or so whatever right she's an ofw her kids or her family is suing her for lack of family support where these kids are where here in the philippines in the philippines yeah so they're they're like suing her because apparently like they're complaining that they're not getting enough money from their parents to be able to do things and what what pushed them to sue their mom is like they're saying like hindi daw mabilan ng nanay yung mga anak ng sariling lupa like their own land sounds like a bunch of entitled kids that's what i'm saying and these are kids who are like living in you know the, the poor area but they have nice cell phones and whatnot and they're bitching at their mom that why can't you buy me my own land? Is this the recent yeah. is this the recent news? It's in YouTube. Uh, what's that guy? He's I guess he's a lawyer or whatever. Right. What did um, the lawyer say? What did the TV sh what did the show say then? 
They're like saying, like, you guys are a bunch of entitled little bitches. <laughs> In other news, so, just just a quick one. Let me share with you commercial break real quick. There's a scam of yeah. a girl. There's a couple of scams lately that I've seen where a girlfriend would. Because remember last time we were talking about a guy suing this girl for dumping him? Yeah. Uh, like two point something million dollars for yeah, it's like 2.6 million it's ridiculous breaking, breaking his heart in singapore this one filipina lady like would go out with guys rich guys and ask oh man you know she's like a business woman my business is going down i need a little bit of help and she ends up scamming them for like 25 million pesos or something like that right and so she would get money from these supposed boyfriends and dump them and leave or whatever. And the the problem, I mean, it's it. I guess it would be fine. The problem is that she would issue checks that would bounce. Oh, so it's that's I guess no good. It's not like the Singapore um, lawsuit where he was his heart was just broken. It's that these guys were promised that they would be paid back. And she'd issue a check, and the 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 checks would bounce. So what what happened? I think it's in court now, or it, I just saw it. I don't know where it ended. I'm I'm just like I just brought it up in terms of these sort of relationship, family, romantic or broken hearted law related lawsuits. Right. Right completely unrelated with each other but uh with that last one that i brought up i just wanted to say that you know um yeah i, I guess females would take advantage of whatever situation they're way in if, way if they off could. subject there <laughs> that was way off i just wanted to share um, some news that i saw th a couple of days ago make it seem like you actually watch the news right I was thinking it would be part of our podcast, you know, like uh, something that we would contribute. Today, what happened in Ermita? No, Philippine <laughs> news, and then you could share with me, like you know, national news there for you that you've been that's caught your attention, like a segment or a local news, maybe. Yeah, like whatever, like anything in the news that you found interesting. Right, right. But aside from that, I've been getting distracted with the latest. You know, this, you, did you know that there's a whole bunch of mystery, unsolved mysteries in in the pyramids, Giza pyramids? Aside from the fact that people don't know still, we still don't know how they were created. There's a whole right. bunch of, you know, bureaucracy and a whole bunch of, um, you know, government sort of getting in the way of science. Like how? That, ugh, I can't really speak too much of it because I haven't research enough of it but the past couple of days i've just been getting into these you know how there's like government officials that are stopping the scientists from actually uh f making their research pro properly doing their research properly and you know they have their own opinions and then basically there's mainstream uh scientists or mainstream media sort of theory right. on how the pyramids were built and then there's like oh, so the, the local government is kind of forbidding or preventing them from proving those, uh, no, I guess. New theories. New okay. theories. It's like it's already written down in the books and they've kind of, in their opinion, that's it already. There's no need to like make new discoveries, sort of. Right. I, th I think it's the way it's going. But, you know, there's like... Basically, it's like it's it's just their way or the highway. There's no other like theories that are... You know, there's no f like it's not open for discussion anymore because they already have suppressed these people from these scientists from making sort of new discoveries. Right. right because right. They, they kind they basically kind of say this is it already. This is so it's just it's just a shame that you know it ca it can't like move forward or we can't like make other theories or experiments or conduct more experiments because it doesn't match up with the narrative that they want to sell to the tourists or to the scientific community i guess it's kind of okay. the way i understand it i've just 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 
Because basically, it's just uh, it's 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 not a done deal. There's still so much to learn, and it's not like sure, go ahead, you know, try to find out what's inside, what's what's going in. It's like no, no, not allowed to go in there. No, not right, allowed to right. take. Almost saying like, oh no, no more need. And then, can you imagine like renovating the the pyramids? Why would they renovate it? I mean, those are like things that you don't even touch. Ex exactly. So that's part of it. Like, oh, we renovated already. Nothing to learn here. That's 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 about it already. So they have a like, for example, there's this giant step that they right. first hypoth hypothesized was a step, like like a, like a huge step for these, you know, ten ton boulders to to be put on. Right. And then now there are new theories that the, this is not a step. That this was like a way for the ropes to pass, or you know, like a, just another theory on how the pyramids were made. Right. And since well, we re we renovated this step, you know, like no need for you to touch it anymore because this is kind of a done deal. And now, I mean, you, these are those are things that just are part of life and history that shouldn't be touched, no matter what, you know. Right, but the whole, the issue people is people nowadays are just wanting not like i don't want to say people it's just there's certain peoples that just don't want to let it i mean how much they don't want to let it go basically they just want to no. keep digging and digging and digging no there's this thing where the theories have been written down on how uh, the pyramids might have been made and right now there's sort of new evidence new technology that's coming up so now you know the books have been written already and basically it's like these egyptian government officials are not allowing to make new discoveries or make new tests with these new technology that we have like radar systems oh, you know? okay so I, I understand what you're saying and i do understand where they're coming from it's going to take a lot away from their history their society yeah. you know and do they I, really want to mess with that not necessarily history or their society, or maybe from their pockets. That because, could be well. That that comes without saying. That's gonna happen no matter what. It's gonna take away all of the what the, Corru um, corruption. Maybe all yeah, the sure. the renovation is going to stop because of these science experiments that the scientists want to do. And of course, part of that request would be not to touch. The stones or not to make any adjustments or not to make any reservations because we want to make these experiments right right well i mean so they shouldn't be making that kind of change though it's history well you know? like what the scientist was saying it was science versus your personal opinion or yeah, their, their personal opinion so there i just well look at it this way on the flip side of things like from a filipino's um, point of view if they all of a sudden came up with a story Regarding Jose Rizal, what if what if that narrative gets changed? You know, like mm. there are different. You know how Jose Rizal is the national hero, right? Oh, and then he turns out to have a son. What do you mean? In Spain? Oh, he does it. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. It turns out maybe hy hypothetically. Well, exactly. I mean, they. They, well, no, that doesn't relate to what you are trying to say. What was what, I'm what trying were you to, trying to say? Well, let me finish. Please what finish. What if all of a sudden the narrative for Jose Rizal changes? He's supposed to be the national hero, right? Right. Um, but there's actually facts that's been given or shared, which you can actually see in YouTube, that he actually worked for the other side. You know mm, what I mean? Mm, 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 mm. Um, I don't want to say much to it because I don't really mm. have, mm, mm, you know, mm, mm, the luxury mm. to like speak about it. But um, people, my point is people would hate having to change that, especially baby families of his or the government, because it's going to make them look even worse. And it's going to take away money from them all of a sudden. All of his monuments being torn down and whatnot, you know. Are, are, that's the exact same way with these Egyptian government about the uh, the pyramids. Yeah. So I understand. So, what if Mon uh, 
Ma- Michelangelo who painted the uh, Sistine oh, no. Chapel and whatnot. Okay. So supposedly he was laying down all the way up there on top of these stilts or whatever, painting it. What if it wasn't him who painted the whole thing? Maybe he had other people helping him. People, you know, that government would be, would be pissed as well. Right. So, anyway. this uh, challenge that we've been trying to, how do we figure out who wins and who loses? I don't know. I really don't know. Let me I just don't think there's a way to define it. Okay, let's spark it real quick. But let me just understand what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to lose 10 to 15 pounds for the Correct. rest of the month. Right. And you're doing it through, uh, are you doing Burn cardio it. also? Are you running? Of course. Running, weights, a little bit of weights. Not too much weights. I don't need to gain all that muscle. Is I your... need to gain my my endurance back, you mm. know? Is your workout schedule uh, every day, like seven days a week? No, uh, five days. Five. Okay. Monday, no, Sunday through Thursdays. Is that a challenge for you at all to be consistent about it? Yes, consistency. Right. Is so let's key. just go with that. Let's just. Were you able to do? I'll 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 do the same. I'll I'll stick to at least five days a week. Okay. But my goal really is seven. To, and then wow. But, but there's a Not rest. Like a there's a rest, dude. It's like a five minute workout. You could barely. I barely break break a sweat. Oh. But that's the that's thing. why it's hard to gauge. Exactly. I'm so, in and, comparison to what I do. I'm no, in physical pain. No, but it's still I, my ego is in physical pain because oh, I'm doing it okay. out on the street. I'm doing it in the parking lot where people can actually see me working out. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. See, that, that's, that's that's why it's a, that's that's why it's a challenge for me, because I'm working out in public. I can't. I'm, I cannot see it as a challenge. There's it's no a, end result. It's a consistency challenge. The end result is: was I able to do it a hundred percent for that week? Same okay. thing. Same, right. same thing with you. Were you able to so, do it for five days in that it, week? It doesn't necessarily be have to be a physical. Okay, I got, I got, I got it. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. What we're gonna base it on consistency. consistency. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Whatever. It's all good. I'm, I'm gonna win this. Just to let me know. I'm sure you will. Whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm just using you sort of as a sounding board to, um, to put my, 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 my ego up against. But right. see, the thing is, I did the, like, for example, yesterday I did the workout, but I, did, I didn't edit the video. That's the problem. So see, it's a workout for editing also, because I'm trying to practice my, with my workflow to get it done like really fast. With your workflow? Editing workflow. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. You know, speaking of editing, one of the things I wanted to talk about is I'm actually glad that you got the episode up and running. I forgot to put it up on Spotify, though. That's the one that I forgot. That's fine. That's fine. The main thing there is getting it on YouTube. And when we started talking about um, editing and whatnot, when it's your turn, like I told you earlier, mm. I told myself, I'm going to bet you $1,000 he's going to forget to do it. <laughs> I and, owe myself $1,000. <laughs> and you're emphasizing this because? It's awesome. That I was right that you forgot. That you're right about me being... Um, Procrastinated. I don't want to say lazy because I don't know your daily routine. You know? I'd settle with... I'd tread lightly and just go with distracted. Distracted by what? Other videos that I might be uploading. On YouTube. (laughs) Privately. I, I saw that. I saw that, by the way. Privately. Yeah, sure. Privately. My ass. Can you imagine if we got into a fight, I got pissed off at you, we're supposed to schedule a recording. Would you do the and, podcast by yourself? 
am I gonna do the episode alone if we got into a fight? I don't yeah. know. I really don't know. Um, I never thought about it. I don't think I'd do it alone. I'd probably come up with like some kind of stupid excuse to drag maybe one of my kids to sit down with me. I think know? the I think the issue here is not about doing the podcast or putting up anything up online. I think the issue here is like why would we bother to get into a fight? Right. <laughs> what would what would we even <laughs> fight about? I'm gonna fight you because I don't agree. With, I don't agree with what you're saying, or because I can't you're... believe you said that. <laughs> I act like a bunch of crybabies. Jeez, you're, you're it's your fault. By the way, let me sidetrack real quick. I, I somebody commented to me on uh, my Facebook. One of uh, a friend, I guess, or an acquaintance from whatever. They said that I swear too much. Fuck that. I don't think so. Watch your fucking <laughs> mouth. What's that's the thing. That's the thing that we're constantly, I guess, trying to massage or battle or figure out or near like you know, it's like we're kneading bread. Is that the right word for it? Kneading? No, kneading bread. No. I don't even know what you're talking about. What do you about? call it when you're like trying to like or, or, okay, like, don't don't do that move, it, man. Don't do that. That's that's what I find most challenging about doing what we're doing. It's not exactly, you know, microphone or voice quality or the stuff that we're talking about. It's like, it's it's a constant battle, and I guess it's all about balancing at the end. But right, what do you mean? Like trying to please everybody. Yeah, there's, we'll, there's we're never gonna be able to do that. Right. So there's you and me talking, trying to like figure out this conversation then at the same time we're trying to see at the back of my mind what's going to interest the people that are listening or is it are we satisfying their curious now, minds if, or their curious ears if we worry about that too much we'll never be able to make anybody happy just to let you know yeah you know, because yeah. we can't we can't worry about little comments here and there there will be comments that's gonna hurt there will be comments that's gonna be awesome like you, you guys know? are not talking about anything you guys should just get off the air like stop uploading <laughs> go back to baking or go go turn on your uh, activate your karinderia again well we're not even it's okay that's just me man but um what i'm saying is what i'm or what i'm trying to say it's not like we don't have anything to talk about if you look at the past 10 episodes there's actually stuff that we talked about in yeah, this yeah. particular uh, episode. It's like we took a little breather. Jesus. Questionable. 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 But, but yeah, I, I'm lying when I said that that person that commented that I swear too much on the show. It did bother me a little bit. But that's that's what I was trying to say a while ago. It's these comments that have a little bit of truth in them. Well, yeah, I mean, but fuck, dude. Like, I think what? it's okay. So you know what? Going going back to listeners, by the way. So I was I was upstairs earlier putting my daughter to nap. You know. So I was on my phone while my daughter was about to fall asleep. I randomly get a message. Sorry, sorry. Hold from... on, hold on. I'm getting self conscious about my forehead. No, it's okay. No, it's okay for you, but it's for me. It's so bright on my screen here that I can oh. see myself. I'm not even looking at you while I'm talking. I'm looking at my forehead. How vain can you be? You have to look at yourself the entire time? I'm actually pretending like I'm trying to look at you when I'm having a conversation with you. Kidding. No, I'm lying. I'm also Please. looking at myself. <laughs> Go ahead. About your daughter. No. So I was putting my daughter to sleep. I randomly get a Facebook message from somebody I know in Florida, like an old friend. I'm not not an old friend, but a friend. Eavesdropping on the podcast? No. He found our Facebook page. I don't know how. I didn't post any of it in my Facebook feed. You didn't share it? Oh, that's probably no. what... If you're the account owner, it's probably sharing it around your friends. No, but you can actually set it to private where it's not attached to your account. And I did that. How did that feel that you were discovered? I was a little hesitant, to be honest with you. 
to so admit, to he goes, admit that so that he's was Filipino, you? right? Yeah. He messaged me with a cover picture of our Facebook page. And he goes, hi, Kuya. Is this you? And I was like, whoa. Yeah, that is me. Should I reply? <laughs> what do I need to say? Should I say yes? And he really has that accent because he's Filipino. Hi, Kuya. Is this you? <laughs> Actually, he kind of sounded like that. I mean, he didn't, in real life, he kind of does. He has that a little bit of a high voice a little bit. Younger but, guy? Younger than you? Yeah, yeah. No, he's younger. He's a cool guy. Um, he's, uh, what was I saying? So he messages me. And I was just taken aback by it because I didn't think that anybody's going to find it. You know what I mean? Mm. And um, at first, I was a little hesitant if I should reply or not. Acknowledge. Yeah. Yeah. If I should acknowledge it. He actually texted me separate. Not, or was it Facebook? No, no, it was Facebook. Um. And I was just taken aback by it. I was surprised that he actually um, found it. So I was like, oh, yeah, that is me. Then I told him. What did I tell him? Um, oh, no, he goes, Queer Jason, is this you, Paul? Is this you, Paul? Mm -hmm. I was like, hi, LOL. <laughs> yeah, it's me and my old friend. <laughs> you discovered so him, me. So I told him, um, okay, like and subscribe na lang. <laughs> nice. You know. Um, but how did it but, feel? What, what Are you having... It felt... Told you we I, shouldn't I, be, uh, I told you we shouldn't be doing this with video, with, with video right away. We should just do it like audio. No, yeah, we're fine. I mean, I'm, <laughs> no, that's stupid. <laughs> Why is it stupid? Oh, I don't know. I was I was taking it back, but since I'm editing at, this episode this... this time, I'm going to blur my face like the whole time. <laughs> Just have you talk to yourself. Blur my face is blurred like <laughs> and a... a blurry silhouette. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, um at first I was taking it back. I was surprised, but eventually I was kind of like I guess proud. I don't know why. I'm not sure why, but there was, I would, I would be lying if I said I wasn't happy about it a little bit or proud that somebody that I know or that knows me um, found it. You know what I mean? I was listening. I was watching my, you know, sometimes my girlfriend sort of clicks on the, the stuff, right? Yeah. And the recent episode, she clicked on it for like five minutes. She was watching, and then she turned off. Oh, damn. Seriously. I mean, I can't expect her to be listening for the hour, hour and a half. You know, two well, guys there talking. there are people out there that actually do. Nonsense. Although, but that's the thing. Uh, like, how did you feel about, did, did your friend, your, your younger friend, like, congratulate you or say that they yeah, liked no, it? No, no. Did, did yeah, you have they any... said that. Comments. I can actually tell you exactly what he said here. Um, he was definitely supportive. You know what I mean? He was... Um, what did he say here? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Try to find it. Yep. I said, yep. That's you. Oh, no, no. That's not it. <clears throat> so... He was saying, wow, awesome. I'll definitely confirm. And then he's like, I'll definitely subscribe. Uh, and then he's like saying that that's cool. And he's asking if we interview people. And he's asking if we can interview him. Oh, hey, great. Um, he's, a, uh, <laughs> he's a performer as well. He's actually, um, he performs like plays the sax and whatnot. And do you know who Glock Nine is? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know who he is. He's but a rapper, Filipino rapper. Oh, okay. Based here. Well, he's um, uh, this friend of mine is performing with Glock Nine here in Florida, 
Oh, nice. Yeah. So I'm actually going to copy an image and then I'm going to paste it to you. I'll tell you a quick story about Glock 9. Yeah, go ahead. Back in early 2000s when I discovered him, I was really impressed because, you know, f I, I hope, like I was l listening to a lot of hip hop when I was there. Right. Uh, that was the only radio station that I was listening to. So I kind of felt like I was a hip hop connoisseur, whatever. Maybe thinking so elitist or highly of myself, whatever. But so uh, Facebook pages just started. And I think Glock 9 just started his Facebook page. And, and I was, you know, like really excited for him. And I said something like, wow, you know, like finally, like world class Filipino rap kind of comment. Right. He commented to you? And then a couple of days later, you know, I was like excited to see if anybody liked or commented on my comment on his page. Right. It was deleted. His page? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't know if it was something offensive or what, but I was just saying, hey, finally. And maybe because I, I wrote it in English, something to the effect of, hey, finally, some world. I don't think it has anything to do with that. To do with that. But maybe Hold on. his 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 page was deleted. Deleted no, no, no. or your comment Sorry. was deleted. My comment was deleted. Maybe it sounded condescending, or maybe oh. it sounded like other. Maybe maybe because I'm saying that he sounded like he's world class. Maybe it means that other Filipino uh, rappers or talent weren't world class before him. Maybe it came off came out came out the wrong way. Huh. I'd so, like to see that thread. Just to see it. No, no, no. That's what I mean. There's no thread because they deleted it. The moderator is not saying Glock 9 himself or whatever. But, you know, I posted on his page saying that, hey, I listen to a lot of rap. But, you know, this is one of the first times that I felt like, and this is just my opinion, that, you know, it was so world class. But, but right now, there's like so many good ones. But at that time, this was like early 2000 for me. And I didn't know much about like Francis M and all these, you know, Andrew E and all these other rappers yeah. back then. They were just not my taste. But for me, I felt like Glock 9 with his lyrics and his style and everything was so quote unquote world class for me. And maybe that comment came across like it meant that other rappers were crap. Other Filipino rappers right. were crap, which is, you know, it was just a matter of taste for me, of course. <laughs> it was never really yeah. about... Who's that's better weird or, though why would he that's weird and here's yeah, it's probably the moderator you so know? here's the thing i thought it was a glitch i posted the same comment again delete it again ah uh, um, it's say. definitely the moderator maybe yeah. they just didn't maybe think it it wasn't appropriate or it didn't come across right but well that's the thing though i don't find anything wrong with it yeah, no, maybe because I said something like it's you know finally some world class Filipino rap talent, kind of something right like that. So well, just... if you look at your Facebook message, I actually messaged you the picture or the poster of their uh, concert that they're doing in uh, full nice. order. Which one's your friend here? So he's the one at the bottom right, Moonchi two forty seven. Nice. He's a sax player. He plays saxophone and whatnot. Sweet. He's really good. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, um, let's talk to him if we get the chance, man. I thought about that, though. Like, I, I don't exactly know what to ask. How did he get the gig? How does it feel to be performing with these guys? When is it going That's to be true. promoted? Yeah, let's, let's ask. Let's let's get how, him in. Let's get him how on. Did, how did I he set get, it up? How did he get started with sax? Why the sax? What's so... Yeah. Did he grow up in the Philippines? Did he grow up in the States? Is he Filipino? Is he half Filipino? Just Okay, okay. Save it for later. Jesus Christ, dude. So much stuff to Relax. talk about. I mean, I'm so excited to talk to other people aside from you. <laughs> God damn, dude. It's like this and is like solid. And and you wonder why I'm always cussing too much. This is like it's solitary like confinement. This. Listen, I do have this rough exterior, but inside I am like a teddy bear. I'm soft and squishy. <laughs> Full <laughs> of emotion. Any <laughs> any response from Commander Daot or uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna message him on Saturday. 
I'm telling you, they're playing you, man. They're just being nice. They got don't the Philippines. Don't do that, dude. Don't do that. I don't. Got... I don't. Don't say that. I am trying to be as optimistic as I can because I am looking forward to speaking to any of them. I'm gonna fan. I'm gonna fanboy out. I'm telling you that right now. You know, I'm gonna geek out. I'm like, oh my god, can I get your autograph? Can we take a selfie? <laughs> I mean. Obviously, we can't do that, but you know, anyway, yeah, they, I, that just sounded really gay. They must be so busy. Who would spend an hour, hour and a half with us to 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 talk to us on this episode? Maybe ten minutes. Right. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe they get intimidated by by it being the length that it is. Maybe you could just say we could just talk to them for five, ten minutes, or how however much time they have. It doesn't right. have to be right. the whole episode. I don't know. Well, I mean, according to his, he's been clearing out their land in the province oh, based right, on his right. um, um, his episodes, you know? Because I want to um, ask him the same questions that you and I have sort of been discussing about, you know, self-consciousness, being at this age, and that it's supposed to be, you know, all this, these things when they both must be mean? at least in their 40s, right? No, 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 no. Uh, Commander D is like young. I don't even think he's 30. Maybe he is only 30. Oh, wow. I know. Um, I know that. I mean, Gulas is. Those are, those are the um, things that I want to ask 33, about. 33, 34, maybe. Wow. Yeah, but no, Commander D is um, young. He's maybe 30, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so th those that. are the that's the stuff that he they've been posting on their on their channels, and yeah, those are interesting. And 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 what it's like to be, you know, talking about yourself slash isn't it narcissistic slash isn't it all about yourself? Isn't it, isn't it a safety issue? You know, because he's um, like showing his land and where they live. He yeah, he I'm they both are. They, they don't broadcast their address, but you know, if you live in that area, you'd know where it is. And well, they they they're free. They they freely share the city and the town that they live in, right? Mm. And on on more than numerous occasions, they've actually they've actually um, had uh, random strangers come over. come up to their property yeah. and like just to say hi, and they welcome it. They've actually blogged it, you know, like like Colas would be blogging. All yeah. of a sudden, in the background, you're gonna hear somebody yelling from the from beyond the gate, and like, "Hey, how are you?" And then he's gonna come out, take pictures. The other a, the other day, I was Chica, taking to. that walk with the dog, and then there were these two kids that were, and then I I had the camera with me, and I wasn't talking to the camera, but I guess they during your workout. I I must have had that vlogger vibe. So these kids were like, "Kuya, kuya, pa shout out," and. I got to tell you, I don't know if they were excited to be on camera with me or if they were mocking me for being a vlogger. <laughs> so I just, you know, I was just my song itself and ignored it and just kept walking away. No, that's, that's your elitist you. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> that's what so, I'm here for, you know. I was actually trying to message uh, that that friend that I was talking about, that Moonchi. Mm. Um, trying to see if he's up, but he's probably asleep already. He's not responding. Um. Anyway. No rush. Whatever. No, I know. Uh, I was hoping he was up so that we can try to get him on. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, um. Anything else? Where 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 are we now? I'm good. I pretty much talked about all the stuff that was up in my. Eh, I wanted to share a couple of Netflix stuff that I saw and what I've been watching, and maybe we can just talk about that on the next episode. What have um, you been watching? Uh, just a couple of movies and a couple of and another one that I'm looking forward to in March. There's this Korean series that came out like at the end of December, and then all of a sudden they're saying. You know, next season is going to be in March. That's like three months waiting. You know, actually, there is this one thing I wanted to talk about. Did you ever caught onto the wave of 
Terrace House? No, doesn't sound no? familiar. It's on Netflix. It's a Japanese、um, show called Terrace House. Oh, it's a reality. It's a reality show. It's about、dating. it's like you know、um, dating show.、Um, yeah. No, it's not. It's not a dating show.、Um, do you remember the Real World on MTV? Vaguely. Seriously, it's called the Real World, where yeah, six yeah, strangers yeah. live in a house. Right, right, right. Their di- everyday lives being.、Um, oh, okay. So same concept. Yeah. Same concept. So, the first season was actually in Japan. It's like J- Japanese people, right?、Mm-hmm. The second season was actually in Hawaii. Oh, okay. So, but it's still in Japanese, you know, because there's a lot of Japanese Americans and whatnot that was actually in the、oh. show. Oh, okay, okay. But it, it transfers locations as well. You should look into it. I messaged you the、uh, title of the、uh, series. It's called the Terrace House. Okay. You should watch that, and then we'll talk about it on the next one. So for me, the couple that I've been watching, I recently watched.、Uh, we could talk about this another time. The the Spirit,、uh, the story of Jessica Watson, the youngest Australian to travel circumnavigate around the world. Oh, the sixteen year old. Yeah, and then the other one was the the glory that Korean、uh, series that you don't have to watch it, but I was just saying that、yeah, uh, the spirit. Is... Um, I'm actually halfway done. <laughs> oh, you were watching? Yeah, I was watching. My watch- my wife got me into it. She she brought it up again earlier. Yeah.、Um, Funny. Yesterday we were watching it just to you know watch something while we're eating. Right, and then, like fifteen minutes into it, I was already bawling, crying. Like, oh my gosh, this is so inspiring! It's it's very inspiring. It's at the same time, it makes me think. I'm like, man, compared to this girl, I'm such a pussy. Oh, the reason why I brought it up was, <laughs> did you notice? Have you reached that part already where she showed her fish slippers? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Stop. No, no, no. Well, no. Let me just tell you. So she's. She, I'm not going to ruin anything. It,、uh, okay. There's just、right. quick a quick shot of her foot wearing fish slippers, and if you recall in any of、uh, Commander Daot's recent videos, he、He's、has fish slippers. The same exact fish slippers. Is it really? Same one. The one that he has in in Davao is the same one that this lady in this movie has、yeah. in Australia. It's like oh 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 oh, Commander, that was slippers. <laughs> that's awesome, and that's something to look forward to in the next episode. On the flip side, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for listening. We're cutting this up again.、Um, I'm Jason. My name is Noel, and we'll see you next time. On the flip side, I'll forward you the 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 picture of the fish slippers. Two guys, two worlds. This is the flip side. New episodes uploaded on YouTube, Facebook, and Spotify every week on Wednesday and Saturday.